Okay, guys, sorry about that. This is take two. I'm not sure why it didn't connect before, but it cut us off. So today we're going to talk about um, uh, self-reflection, taking action off self-reflection, learning to um, take self-reflection and put it into action so that we can start improving the way that we show up, right? Um, so let's get back into it. Second time round. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, please do hit the love bar, heart button and comment below, all right? So today, the exercise is about um, learning um, where to and how to do you self-reflect. So do you do enough self-reflection? Do you take enough action off that self-reflection? Does it, does it help you move forwards? So I want to be able to help and show you um, in terms of being able to take a situation, being able to dissect it, um, and then being able to process it and move it forward. So, all right, guys. Um, so on Saturday night, we went out with the family um, and we went out to uh, an outdoor c uh, cinema. And um, we, it was me and the two mini boardmans and the wife and we sat there. And I, vis before we went in, I visualized how the evening would go. All right. So I set, number one, I set expectations, which was a mistake. Number two, uh, my perfect mentality uh, crept back in and uh, and dominated my mind and because of those two things what happened happened which i'm going to tell you in a minute so when we got there we had fish and chips sat in the sat on the blanket then got on our camping chairs and the way that i visualized this happening was that um i imagine us both sitting there with kids on laps just watching in ganto in this perfect mentality with these high expectations of just it being a nice chilled evening in reality, um, Alba ha watched half of the film because she was messing about with her mates. Um, Darcy would not stop being a nightmare, as you would expect as a one-year-old. And it became into a bit of a, a stress fest. And the whole situation uh, and the whole evening was just stressful. And there's a couple of things that we have to understand in, 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 in this is that it doesn't matter who you watch, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter who you follow as well as me, everybody in some way, shape or form is going to, does not live a perfect life, does not have all of their eggs in one basket, does not have everything figured out. So when it comes to real life situations, stress of being a parent, stress of being at work, stress of your own health, whatever it might be, that is always going to be there. It doesn't matter who you are. All right. So one of the reasons I want to explain, one of the reasons that I'm sharing this with you here is because this is reality. And like I've got myself squared away 90% of the time, but there is a 10% of the time where it was slip. And on Saturday night it slipped. And this is where self-reflection comes in. I have to understand where it slipped and how it slipped. And I know that because of the expectations that I set, because of the perfect mentality that I had, and because the situation was very stressful and it didn't go anywhere near that, I end up like not emotionally coping well. Okay, so up and down, stress, stress. All I wanted to do was go home, and I ended up becoming a nightmare. Not only for like uh, to be around for my partner, but for the kids. And it becomes very, and it just become very frustrating for me. And that is being a parent, right? That type of thing is just frustrating. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't think there is anything emotionally that you can do to actually stop yourself falling into that trap. Um, but that's where the self-reflection, self-awareness, um, and emotion, emotional confusion comes from. But the key thing is to be able to flip it. Now, this is just one scenario. There will be many scenarios where you and me and everyone else on this planet will fall into a bit of a pity party we feel sorry for ourselves, we expect somebody to come and help us, we will feel angry, jealous, happy, sad, we will feel a whole array of emotions, and all of these emotions will end up dictating our actions, sometimes it can catch us out, because actually we've got lots going on, so as uh, Jen Holloway would say, our stress bucket is full up in our brain, so it just ends up toppling over, right, so we end up reacting quite quickly, quite badly, or sometimes we can feel quite chilled, about the situation, how actually we can handle it a lot better. And I think it all depends on what's happening in and around us. So for my self-reflection, it was certainly a very busy week. 
it was a very busy weekend. There were other people staying. We had my mum down, so it was a full house. So there was lots going on emotionally. So my trigger was very quick. And this is where I can go away and go, right, I need to actually just chill out because I've got a one-year-old and a five-year-old. And of course, it's not going to be a perfect mentality. I need to manage my expectations. I need to get a hold of the perfect mentality. I need to understand the bigger picture. And I need to be a lot more chilled and relaxed, okay, going into these things, expecting it actually a carnage, which is what I didn't do. And such had the, had the emotional distraction. So the key thing is then talking it through the next day, going through it, writing it down, processing it, understanding it over the next couple of days, and then actually getting on the live and sharing it because it's reality, right? This is real stuff. That is how, how we end up becoming better. That's how we get 1% better over and over and over again. All right. By keep showing up, by keep self-reflecting, by keep being real and having a reality uh, and a grip of the situation, by understanding the triggers that set us off, by understanding the emotions that we feel. And that is just like part of the bigger picture, right? No one is ever going to be perfect. No one is going to be emotionless. Okay. And being able to handle your emotions, manage your emotions, um, it's huge, right? Absolutely huge. And this is how we progress. This is how we grow as an individual. It's like taking a situation, accepting that it happened, learning from what happened, and then moving forwards, all right? So, guys, I think I want to apologize because I don't know what's happening with this live. I don't even know if you're getting this live. Um, but it keeps coming up saying um, it's trying to reconnect. So I'm not even sure if you got half of this. So. I'm going